Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how you can uh, declare your values, your variables by making use of this variable definition file. So basically, uh, a file ending with the .tfvars extension. So in the last session, we looked at how you can pass the values from the command line by using this hyphen var flag. Now, if you have lots of variables that you have declared, like let's say 20, 30 variables, uh, providing those values on the command line can be very cumbersome. The command can be very huge and that is where we can make use of a separate file altogether and we can pass all the values to your variables within that file and we can tell Terraform to read the values from that separate file. So that's where we can make use of this variable definition files uh, which is basically a separate file where all the variable and the values will be available and we simply tell Terraform that please read the values from these files all right so once again before we start off with this session please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so let's get started with this so if you have defined a lot of variables so like i said you know if you're dealing with a lot of variables and if you want to provide the values to all those variables it is more convenient for us to uh, rather maintain a separate file which we call it as your variable definition file now this file it's basically a file which is ending with either the .tfvars extension or the .tfvars.json extension. So if you want to uh, provide the uh, variables in the form of a JSON, you can go with this .tfvars.json extension. If not, you can simply go with the .tfvars extension. And then when you are running the Terraform plan command or the Terraform apply command, we can make use of this hyphen var hyphen file flag uh, to specify which variable definition file you want to give something like this all right now you can make use of this if you want to use a custom name for your variable definitions we will also discuss about how you can automatically load the variables but if you want to use a custom name for your variable definition files then you can do that however for that you'll have to explicitly uh, make use of this flag to call that variables so your variable definition file uses the same basic syntax as your terraform language file but it will only consist of your variable name assignment so uh, the syntax is same as what we use for your uh, terraform code however within your variable definition files we only provide your variable names and the values we do not use anything else all right so here this is what we provide so the variable name the value the variable name value and then so on so Let's see an example for this. Okay, so here I have my um, code. So if you look at my main.tf file, this is what I have. So if you see here, I've declared my uh, variable blocks, but I don't have any values. All right, so I'm not using any default values. And here I'm calling my variables. So the region, the instance type, the AMR. Now, one way is obviously we can make use of the command line to pass the values, which we have discussed in the last session. In this session, we will make use of your definition file, the variable definition file to pass the value. So for this, we will be creating a separate file altogether. So let's say uh, we'll create a file with the name variables.tfvars. Okay. So this is going to be my uh, variables definition file. Again, like I said, the name is user defined you can give whatever name you want but just make sure you're ending with the .tfvars extension that way uh, terraform understands it's a variables definition file and then sure you just give the variable name and the respective value okay so in my case let me quickly make a note of this equals to So I'm just quickly, oh, sorry, this will be US East 1, this will be T2.micro and then the third variable which is this one and the value for this, let me get it from my console, this will be the value. Alright, so like this, you can declare all your variable names and the values that you want and let's copy this and we will put this in our sorry we will we'll put this 
in our variable definition file like this. So depending on the variables you have declared, you can uh, uh, define all the variable names and the respective values within this file itself. Now we'll save this file. Now by default, if I run the Terraform plan, my Terraform will expect me to pass the values. You can see here it is still expecting me to pass the values. Now this is where I can simply tell my uh, Terraform that please read the values from this variables definition file. How do I do that? I can make use of this flag hyphen var hyphen file equals to the variables name. So here I'll say Terraform plan hyphen var hyphen file equals to in double quotes your variable file whatever name you have used. So here I'm telling my Terraform that all my variables are declared over here right please read the values from this file from this variables definition file. Now when I run this Terraform will not expect me to pass the values from the command line it will read those variable definition files and whatever the value I have declared in that definition file it will pick those values and give it to my configuration. So this is how we can make use of your variables definition file to define all your variable names and the values and you can tell variable Terraform to read those variables from this variable definition files. Now in this case uh, um, like I said you can make use of a custom name however if you're using the custom name then every time you're running the Terraform command you'll have to explicitly use this hyphen var hyphen file flag to call those uh, variable definition files. Now we also have a way where we can automatically load these variable definition files. Okay, so Terraform also automatically loads a number of variable definition files if they are present. Now in that case, we have to follow a specific naming convention, which is your terraform.tfvars or terraform.tfvars.json. So if you're using these exact names, then Terraform will automatically load the variables for us. So here, if you see, we are using a custom name, variables dot right? So if you're using a custom name, then every time we'll have to use this flag. Now, if you want to automatically load these values, then you should be using the exact name, which is Terraform dot Or if you're using a JSON file, then Terraform dot dot JSON. Let me show you an example. So what I'll do is. I'll simply rename this file. So let me rename this to terraform.tfvars. So now you will see the file name is terraform.tfvars. And if I run this terraform plan command, now you see here I'm not passing any hyphen var hyphen file flag. However, because of the file name I have used, Terraform will automatically load the values for me from that file. So you can see. It is automatically picking the values from this variable definition file. So we can make use of this to automatically load the values that we want. So this is another way if you want to automate your variable definition files, you can make use of this file. We also have another way which is any file names which is ending with the dot auto dot tfrs or dot auto dot tfrs dot json extension. So let's say you want to use a custom name you don't want to use this terraform right you want to use a custom name. in that case also we can automatically load the variables by using this dot auto dot tfvars extension so here let me clear this so what i'll do is let me rename this so let's rename this to variables dot tfvars now we know that if you're using a custom name then we'll have to explicitly make use of the hyphen var hyphen file flag. However, now I can rename this to variables dot auto dot tfvars. Basically, this extension. Now this will also tell Terraform to automatically load the variables for us. So now, if I run the Terraform plan, you will see again I'm not using the hyphen var hyphen file flag, and I'm using a custom variable name and my terraform is still able to load the values because of this dot auto dot tfvars extension okay so you have both the options you can either 
explicitly specify the file from where Terraform should, re should read the values. You can also automatically load the value. So one way is you can make use of this Terraform.efrs. So basically create a file with the same name or if you're using a custom name, then make sure you're ending with the .auto.efrs extension. Now you can also make use of your uh, JSON. So like I said, you know, files whose name end with .json are parsed instead as JSON objects with the root object properties corresponding to the variable name. So you can also declare your variables in the JSON format if you want. Okay, so for example, uh, this variable, so this one, so basically we make use of your curly braces, open, close curly braces, and then your variable name will be in quotes. Then your will use colon. Okay, so all of this will be colon and your this will be in quotes as well. So this becomes my JSON definition file. So you can make use of this as well. Uh, if you want to use JSON file to declare your variable uh, definition files. All right. That's all for this uh, session. So that's how you can make use of your variable definition files to uh, declare your variables and the values and you can start uh, calling those uh, variables from your Terraform commands. Okay, so that's it for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.